Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm actually coming to you from after I filmed the video that you are, oh, God, I have hiccups, about to watch. Um, and it's because as soon as we finished that video, we came up with the best t-shirt idea ever. Why do I have hiccups right? You may remember we had a t-shirt a while back on Odie Green, just like this. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Uh, it was just like this, OD green, and it said thick and had an M249 saw on it, a thick gun. And we did it for a limited run, and you... <sighs> this isn't funny anymore. You guys really liked it, and so months later we came out with the second installment, and we had a Glock. <sighs> a Glock, and it said Butterface, and that was the second installment. It was also on an OD green shirt. After we filmed this video, we were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We were like, oh my gosh, this is the best idea ever. And we made the third installment of the Thick Butterface. And now, <laughs> the epic reveal is ruined. And now, Exotic. The Exotic with the Tiger Striped Desert Eagle. Link in description below, limited time only. Okay, now back to the video where I do not have hiccups. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Check this out. We have this new, well, this is our, our new friend. He is a little jiggly, and we are going to be testing today a hoodie on him. So this is actually, it's called the Wonder Hoodie, and it is a bulletproof level 3A hoodie. <laughs> you warm there, bud? <laughs> And so it has a bulletproof vest built into it. So the arms are normal, just hoodie material. And this is too, but underneath it, you have the Kevlar padding here. So it has a 3A, level 3A vest all here and here and up here actually next to your head. So it actually goes all the way around the back of your head, a level 3A protection. You might have been looking at me and thinking, Matt, you are looking very good today. That is because they also make these in denim jackets. A Canadian tuxedo, you might say. You might have thought it was regular. It's not. It also has a Kevlar built in. How cool is that? And the purpose of this video is actually kind of has something to do with this. This was that big bulletproof blanket that we had and when we tested it, I wanted to see how much energy was transferred when something hit it but did not penetrate it to the body underneath and we were using watermelons and things. So obviously this bulletproof blanket didn't work great. It did stop a lot of bullets but it also let some through that we weren't really expecting. So today we got a legitimate armor company we actually got some real armor that we want to make sure works good, and we are going to shoot it on a ballistics gel. So the gel is made to simulate like if a person was actually wearing it. And what I want to see is when you get hit with a shotgun slug and it doesn't go through the vest like it did to this blanket, it actually stops in there. I want to see how hard it hits you, how deep it pushes in. I want to see what the damage is. When you don't get penetrated, you just get punched. This is a Remington Speedmaster, chambered in 22 long rifle. This thing can stop up to a 44 Magnum, so 22 long rifle is not gonna go through, but will it hurt if you get hit with a 22 long rifle while wearing one? So quiet, so quiet. Hey bud, how did it feel? You okay? You making it? There's our hole. Nothing, it did nothing. I bet you that would like You'd barely feel it. He's fine. Let's up the ante quite a bit. So I was thinking, what caliber should we do next? And I was like, nine millimeters is what we normally do. And it makes sense. It's a it's a big round. It's bigger than a 22, and it's a real round. So I kind of want to see what it'll do to this. And I was like, what what gun though? And I was like, let's just pick a very basic, run-of-the-mill, everyday nine millimeter. Like a full auto Uzi. This is a real full auto transferable Uzi. 
And I got about five rounds in it. We're just gonna see what happens here. Oh, turns out you gotta take safety off. I wonder how that felt. Stopped him, stopped right here. We have shot this guy before, so like he does have like some 22 bullet holes here. He's got some buck shot in the back. There's one that we shot sideways through him down there. So this was not a perfect thing. So we'll just have to see when they actually go through which holes are new, but nothing ripped his skin. So all good. I think uh, we're just gonna have to get a little more powerful. The way to get through body armor is with speed. Speed beats armor. So we need something faster than a nine millimeter. How about a 357 Magnum? This is actually a 38 Special, but the gun I have will shoot both, and we are going to shoot both. This is my brand new Henry lever action chambered in 38 Special or 357 Magnum. This is the big boy, and it's the new model, which has a threaded barrel. And I went ahead and just tactical this thing out. So we have a light laser combo. Look at the green laser on there. And then we have fiber optic sights on top. I also put a red dot on it and this little rail. And then I got a Silencer Co. Osprey 9 suppressor on the end. So I have a suppressed 357 38 Special lever action rifle. So we're first just going to try it out because I haven't really shot it much. We'll see how it handles downrange. What also makes this Henry special is it has a side loading gate here. And most Henry lever actions do not. They are loaded by this little mag tube thing that comes out. This wouldn't work though if you had a suppressor, so it's really nice that this one has the side gate on it so that I can load it, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to. So, we're going to go ahead and see how she runs. You'll notice I have no ears on. Alright, let's see if I can hit that plate rack. <laughs> That's so cool. Do you think I can do it? You think I can do it all without missing though? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah, this gun's awesome. Alright, these are still 38 specials. Let's see what they do to our friend. That popped in real hard. Hit right here. That 38 special should be doing about what the 9mm did, so I'm not expecting much. Come on, man. Get yourself together. So it ripped it on the inside, just ripped that fabric layer, but the Kevlar's fine. No damage on our gel. So let's crank it up a notch, so a 357 Magnum in that thing that's really ripping fast. All right, this is a 357 Magnum. It is heavier and faster than those, three thir than those 38 specials we were shooting, so should hit him pretty hard. Oh, shook him pretty good. I saw his whole jelly body jiggling. All right, hit right next to that 38 Special. Definitely ripped all this stuff a lot more. Okay, you can tell there's a lot more pressure there because it like hooked this down to the Kevlar. But no Kevlar damage. It's just, it pushed that so hard that it ripped our fabric. Uh, his skin also still looks intact. I don't see any cuts or anything. So it looks like we're gonna have to go even bigger. We are gonna power through him now with a one ounce slug out of this Benelli M4. So. Not great at penetrating, even though it did penetrate our bulletproof blanket, but just so much power. Like this will break anything behind that vest, but I don't think it's gonna go through. Let's find out. Oh man, wow. So I was a little worried because there's a huge cavity here. <laughs> but I think it's all here. Oh yeah, there's there's pieces of it. It just broke it all apart. Yeah, I was wrong. That was a buckshot thing. I don't know why I thought that was a slug. <laughs> this is all buckshot. It stopped it all, but man, it hit him hard. You can see our inner layer of Kevlar is totally unscathed. No fibers coming through. It did kind of push a little bit of that fabric into him, it looks like, but not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let's do a slug. Actual slug this time. This one is a slug, not buckshot. I've been doing this thing for so long and I still do dumb stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> that slug was going at 1600 feet per second. That really was moving. I am not too hopeful. Okay, so what happened was, looks like we hit, oh there it is. <laughs> so it ripped out the Kevlar out of our thing, but it caught it. 
there's our whole slug right there. Looks like, oh yeah, there's where we punched him. Ow, this thing's still hot. Punched him right there. Definitely cut the rubber a little bit this time. Um, I mean, as you can see, and uh, probably put a little Kevlar in him, but not lead, and it didn't go in very far. So we're actually gonna shoot it with a Desert Eagle. A 50 AE, which this thing is obviously not rated to stop a 50 AE, and it probably won't. 50 AE out of Desert Eagle, tiger striped. This one's for you, Joe. Not you, Carol. All right, this is definitely going through. Let's see what happened here. There's where it went in. Looks like it went through. Oh, it may have stopped. Is it in there? Oh, it's right there. Check that out. Ow, that's really hot. So it went through about half the Kevlar, but did not make it through all of it. Dang, I am impressed. I was pretty sure that was gonna pass straight through. This is really hot. And here's what it looked like on the inside. So you can see a lot of black fabric and a little bit of Kevlar dust coming in. And we got about a, maybe a half centimeter gash in him where it cut that rubber, but that's it. Nothing big went into his flesh. That thing punched him really hard. Probably would break this bone right here, break his collarbone, maybe screw up his shoulder, but it didn't go in. Check this out, the 5.7 by 28. This is what they shoot out of the FN57 and the FNP90. This is a new round, so you can see the difference. That one looks very, you know, normal. This one's Flippin' insane. So we are going to actually fire this thing. It looks like it'll be very good at penetrating. And 3A armor, soft armor, normally is, it's pretty iffy on if it can stop a normal one of these rounds. So we'll see if it can stop this one. Um, it's just going so fast. This stuff was almost banned because it is too good at getting through armor. We have our little Banshee here, chambered in 5.7. We're gonna actually go for a headshot because this thing does have the Kevlar in the head, and we'll see what it does. Cool. Right there, earshot. And, yeah, right there, earshot. He already had some damage before this, but it's looking like, yeah, it looks like that thing went right through. Let me open this up. Yep, there it is. Tiny little hole where it went straight through. That stuff's just going so fast, this armor does not stand a chance. The armor's great, but what if we just made him naked down there and we shot a shotgun round at him? And it's not a normal shotgun round, it's Dragon's Breath. I want to see if these little burning pellets stick in him and continue to burn. Dang! Look how cool that is! So they melted him a little bit. Oh wow, it already dried. So it got super hot, melted. You can see all these little streaks are where those pieces were flying in him. But that one in the middle was really hot and burning and some molten gel came out of the hole. A couple other ones where you definitely burned him a little bit. That was awesome. Sorry, you okay bud? Really none of them went very deep in him though. If I worked for Joe Exotic at the GW Zoo, I think my name would be Demo Erotic. Obviously. And my position at the GW Zoo would be the head gator getter. If there ever any gators that needed getting, I'd be the one to wrestle that gator and I'd get that gator. In the comments below, let me know what your name would be if you worked at the GW Zoo and what your position would be. You know what? Go ahead and send me your resume in the comments below. The best resume is getting pinned at the top of the comments. Thanks for watching Demolition Red. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. What about the quad hog?